It's time to enter the drone zone with me, James Drone, aka Pure Ambient Drone. So hit that subscribe button, tap that bell, and get ready to synth on. Hey there, synth drones. It is episode number 20 of Midnight Synthesizer Talk with me, James Drone, the voice of synthesizers. I mean, so glad that you're here with me tonight. I'm glad every time you're here with me because Midnight Synthesizer Talk is about me talking on the microphone. Our eyes are closed, our ears are opened, and our minds are expanded into the world of synthesis. If you haven't checked out my Patreon site, there is a link in the description of this video. Over at my Patreon page, I have some really cool stuff that is not included here on this channel. It's exclusive and it's just for those who support me and what I do. Okay, so the Waldorf Quantum, that's what I want to talk about tonight, but I want to give you some sound samples as well. Because the Waldorf Quantum has been in my studio now since about the time that it actually came out. The very first time that I could get my hands on one of these. I think I ordered like the second batch that was available. And I have thought so many times of selling this synthesizer. But you know what? I, I tell you why. It's because this thing is so expensive. And so when you look at a synthesizer that costs this kind of money, you think to yourself, wow, I could cash this in on some big bucks. But then I wouldn't have the Waldorf Quantum, and I think it is one of the greatest synthesizers ever made in the 21st century. This thing is powerful. This thing is magnificent, and it has so much going for it that every time I think about selling it, I have to sit down one more time and play on it and then realize, what, am I crazy? I don't want to get rid of this thing. But I want to give you some sound samples. I have some favorites, okay? Because there is a feature in here that lets you list all your favorites. And I want to go through some of them. So I hope you enjoy some of the sound samples. And we'll come back and we'll talk some more. So this first patch that I'm going to play for you is called Polaris. Wow, you can just tell by listening to that. It's just an amazing synthesizer. It just really is. Uh, man, how could I ever think about selling this? I, I just don't know because uh, it's, it's all about money and I don't need to sell it for the money. You know what I'm saying? This one's called the Grand Vista. <laughs> This one is called Wave Formula. Stretcher Piano.
Okay, this one's called ARP2. Morphine Pad. So that's a few of the sounds from the Waldorf Quantum. I think that it has a lot of features to keep me busy. And what I really enjoy about it is the touch screen. You can just flow through this thing. And the menus are very intuitive. And it, it seems to guide you along the way. So you never really get lost. I really enjoy this synthesizer a whole lot. And I think it is worth every penny. Now, I know that they have the Iridium out there. And uh, it's the lower priced version of it but i just don't know what i would do without the analog filter that comes along with this one i just think that the whole interface of the keyboard the analog filter just everything about the actual waldorf quantum for me it's a better choice but it's far more expensive than the iridium i can see why they did the iridium but uh i am very satisfied with the quantum itself and I have used it on quite a few tracks. It seems to be the synthesizer I neglect the most because it's not what I reach for first. And it should be because it is so different. It is so unique. It's almost like a salt and pepper kind of synthesizer because, um, it, because it is so unique that there are times that I feel that it's overpowering the mix. It can, or maybe it's just not sitting properly, but that's not a bad thing for me. It just means that it is a different synth compared to everything else I have out there. The other thing about the Waldorf is, is that sometimes it can sound so good that you almost find yourself tweaking the other synthesizers in a mix because they're not up to par with what this thing is doing right out of the box. There are some really good sounding presets in this machine just ready to go. And there are thousands of presets inside this machine. And it sounds so good, so analog. I am so glad that it's a part of my studio. So that's what I have to say about the Waldorf tonight. I hope you enjoyed the sound samples. Leave a comment. Let's talk about this. Don't forget to visit me over at jamesdrone.com. It's the place to be to connect with me. So until next time, I'm James Drone, the voice of synthesizers. Hit that subscribe button, tap that bell, and most of all, keep calm and synth on. <laughs>